1 Peter 1 Peter, an apostle of Yeshua Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect, according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, through the sanctification of the Spirit, and to obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yeshua Jesus Christ, grace unto you, and peace, and be multiplied. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Yeshua Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begat us again and to lively hope by the resurrection of Yeshua Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance in incorruptible and defiled that fade not away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by power of God, through faith and to salvations, ready to be revealed in the last time. Wherein you greatly rejoice, do now, for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through the manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than gold, that perish, though it be tried, it be tried with fire, but be found and to praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yeshua Jesus Christ, whom having not seen, you love in whom, though not you see him not yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving in the end of your fate even the salvation of your souls. Of which salvations the prophet have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, searching what or what manner of the time of the Spirit of Christ, which was in them, did signify, when it testified beforehand the suffering of Christ and the glory that should follow, and to whom it was revealed that not unto themselves. But unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. Therefore, greed up the lions of your mind, be severe, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yeshua Jesus Christ. As obedient children, fashioning yourself according to the former lost in your ignorance, but as he which had called you is holy, so be you holy in all manners of your conversation, because it is written, Be you holy, for I am holy. And if you call on the Father, without respect of persons judge according to every man's work, past the time of your surrounding here in fear. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things, as silver, silver and gold, for your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as a lamp without blemish and without spot, who barely hoped for ordaining before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you, by who by him do believe in God, that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory, and your faith and hope might be in God. Seeing you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit and to the unfeigned love, of the brethren, see that you love one another with a pure heart, pervertly, being born again, not a corruptible seed, but corruptible by the word of God, which live and abide forever. For all flesh is, is a grass, and all the glory of man is a flower of grass. The grass wintered, and the flower thereof fallen away. But the word of the Lord endured forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. 
1 Peter 1.